Hi, it's Science Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what are your person's messages to you. So, I want you to take a moment, think about your person, and we'll see what messages they want to communicate with you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. I don't know if your person has ever told you this, but they've been waiting for someone just like you and for something just like this. Wow, there's a very special connection here. Your energies with your person, they really play well with each other. Your person feels as though you're a you're their soulmate. Your person feels as though they were destined to love you and you were destined to love them. They feel like you're their destiny. They feel like what you have is something very special and very magical. Even if your person doesn't believe in soulmates or typically wouldn't believe in soulmates, um, you definitely, you know, you, you change that for them because they feel like you're their soulmate or they feel like, you know, if soulmate were a thing, that this is what it feel, what if it, it would feel like, okay? Or there may be someone who feels, you know, who doesn't necessarily want to admit to believing in, in the notion of soulmates. But I can definitely see this is what your person feels a very strong emotional pull and emotional connection towards you. They feel like you're so familiar. They feel like you're really easy to love. They feel like you're really easy to get along with. They feel a sense of familiarity. And look, maybe it has something to do with the fact that this is a past energy, that you were childhood friends or childhood sweethearts or you've dated in the past and now you've recently reconnected. Maybe that's where the familiarity is coming from. For others of you... Your person feels like you've known each other from some other time or space or place. So they feel like you were soulmates in a past life and you guys have this soul, co um, this soul contract to come back together again, to love each other. They've been... See, they have this little checklist of everything that they've wanted in a partner. All the qualities that they wanted their partner to have and you tick... A lot of their boxes if not all of their boxes they've been waiting for something just like this they've been waiting for someone just like you and they're so glad that they've found you they feel you're different and it feels like what they have with you it is it does feel different it feels comfortable it feels natural it feels like things are moving fluidly, organically. Um, they feel like you're very, you're something very special. They also love, I don't know, some of you have this, they love this tattoo that you have. You have something unique. I don't know if it's a t tattoo, I don't know if it's a scar, but you have something very, very unique um, about you. It's an imprint of some sort from what I'm seeing. It could be like a piecing as well though. Um, they love that about you. They think you're very creative. You're very expressive. They see you as someone that they want to settle down with. They see you as someone that they want to build a future and a home with. They see, they see you as a lover and as a best friend. They see building a life together. They really do. For some of you as well, you're going to be going into business with this individual. You're going to be, um, if not right now, later down the track in life, um, this is someone that you're going to end up with. For a lot of you, it is your forever person. For others of you, this is someone that you're going to, um, you're going to build a home and a business with. Uh, I feel like some, this person also feels like you're destined for fame or you're destined for something special like 
if you're someone who wants to put something out into the world, into the universe, like a, a, a talent or um, a book or something of the sorts, your person thinks they believe that you're going to achieve this. They believe that you're destined for something great. Um, I'm seeing that your person wants to plan something very special under the stars. So I don't know if this is like... Um, they're going to take you out on a date. Uh, it feels like, yeah, it's under the stars. Something to do with the stars. It could be, you know, the stars in the night sky. Or it could be that your person is someone who is famous and well-known or has connection to famous people or celebrities. And they might set up, like, set up a meeting so that you're able to meet, like, your favorite celebrity. I don't know. I'm getting the stars. Or someone he has a tattoo of the image of a star. But again, quite unique in a sense. Um, this could be someone that you're... It could be someone that you, you are catching feelings for. Or this person has caught feelings for you and it's in the workplace. And as a result, this person I feel like is being very respectful of how they approach the situation. Right? Because they don't want to... They respect the position you hold and they respect... All the hard work that you had to put in to get to where you are. They're also very respectful of the position that they hold and the hard work that they've done to get there. So I see that this is someone who's very, um, you know, they really want to take their time. So if you feel like not a lot is happening in terms of movement or growth, I feel like this is someone who does want to invest for the long term and they don't want to rush the process. They love that you're, you know, you, you can hold your own. They love that you are very unique, you're an individual, you stand out, you've got your own you've got your own creativity, your own expression, you've got your own ways here, and they love that about you. Your person does think about you a lot. And I feel like they're really they give a lot of um thought and energy to how they will approach you. Or if you guys have a date coming up, if you plan to see each other sometime soon, I don't know, in the next couple of days or weeks, uh, it feels like they're putting a lot of thought, okay, and a lot of pressure on themselves as well into making everything picture perfect, into making everything just right for the both of you. I'm also seeing that they're a little bit shy. I feel like your person is a bit of a shy demeanor and um, they're a little shy in making a move or... They're just, they're not hesitant, it's just that they're um, scared that you might not reciprocate. Or they might scare that they might make, you know, put a foot wrong here. I don't think that they will, but I just think it's them being cautious and shy. Um, what else? Flowers as well. I think this person is... Next time, I feel like both of you are heading out on a date, I feel like they will show up with flowers, or somehow flowers will be incorporated into the date. They feel like the both of you were made for each other, you were designed for each other. Um, it's like they're on cloud nine about you and the connection that you guys share. They're feeling really good about themselves. They're feeling, um, they feel very special. They feel very blessed to have you and, you know, to have met you. And even though this is the early, for some of you, this is the early stages of a connection, when you know, you know, it just feels right. And for them, you know, they feel like they love being around you. They feel like your home, you have a sense of peace. You have, they feel like you have this, you know, very peaceful and healing qualities to your energy. They feel like this is destined. The both of you are destined to be together. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing to this channel. Bye for now.